Good morning, YouTube. In this video, I will be visually showing you guys how vacuum tubes, electron guns, and electron generation work, and the principles underlying them. A vacuum tube and an electron gun are essentially the same thing, but with different purposes. While a vacuum tube regulates, amplifies, or rectifies the flow of electricity, an electron gun merely produces electrons. The largest similarity between these two devices are that they both produce electrons. This is achieved by heating up a negatively charged cathode and then placing it in an extremely large electric field. This strips the electrons from the cathode and propels them away, particularly towards the anode. And a series of anodes focus the electrons into a beam, which then can be shot at a fluorescent screen and produce an image. This is an electron gun. A vacuum tube also produces electrons, but the electrons carry the flow of electricity from the anode to the cathode and do not always or usually ever form a beam. You can also put a grid in between the anode and cathode to amplify the signal Now really, how do you get the electrons though, you may be thinking? Well, it just so happens that there's an electron C in most if not all metals, and the electrons are bouncing around back and forth stuck in the material. And this holds true until the electrons gain enough energy to escape the material through heat because the atoms are vibrating and fly towards the anode using the electric field. This is crucial. All of these operations happen through an electric field, and it's very important that op you understand opposite charges attract. Pretty neat. They're like magnets, but it is not magnetism. It's an electric field. But Bennett, if the electrons are attracted to the anode, why don't they just fly off the cathode and smash into the anode? Why do they keep going? Good question, Bennett. Well, the, in an electron gun, the anode is alternating positively and negatively charged back and forth at a very high frequency. So as the electrons fly towards it, then they get to it, the anode will switch charge and they will be propelled away from the anode. And this happens so you get an electron pulse over and over again. This is also how particle accelerators work, but on a much larger scale. It's easy to imagine it as a sort of tiny railgun, but instead of magnetism, it's the electric field. Now the control plates, which control where the beam goes in an electron gun, are just two plates, four plates, two on the x-axis, two on the y-axis, axis, on either side of the beam, one's positively charged and one's negatively charged, and these plates can switch charge back and forth rapidly or very slowly to move the beam wherever you need it to go on the two-dimensional screen. And these inputs are all done with analog. This is also how old oscilloscopes worked in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Very cool. Okay, I hope you everyone liked that. Um, the next video I do like this is probably going to be on electron containment using magnetic fields, so look forward to that. Um, like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the dislike button if you didn't like it. I know I'm a terrible drawer, but um, okay.